Now, over the past few weeks, you'll have noticed that Louise has not been sitting here. Uh, there is good reason for that, though, because uh, she's not been on the sofa, because she's been on an, a adventure? Proper, an a proper adventure, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, it's not my idea of an adventure, to be honest, because she's been taking part in a gruelling ultra tri triathlon in Chile. Uh, we're delighted to say we'll be talking to her, hopefully, um, shortly, but this is how she did it. We've given her a bell this morning as well. I think we've woken her up. Uh, Louise, congratulations. How's the holiday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Um, yes, I've stunned a little bit, Coco. You have woken me up. Um, yeah, some holiday has been such an amazing adventure. And um, I'm sitting here thinking... I mean, yesterday I was questioning my life choices when I got on that ferry to dive off into the cold water. And now my, I mean, my feet, I think, are the most sore, but I'm not sure... <laughs> I think there's quite a lot of sauna. Oh, honestly, Lou, I honestly don't know how you do it, but 16 hours, talk us through it. How was it? I'm just looking at my time, so 16 hours and 34 minutes. Um, so how was it? Uh, we woke up at um, 1.30 in the morning, then went to this ferry, and we arrived at this dock, and it was pitch black, and uh, this enormous ferry was lit up. Um, so I got on the ferry with, I think there was about 200, 250 of us, all dressed up in our wetsuits. And we drove out into the dark, into this beautiful field. Of course, we couldn't see it then because it was dark. Um, and then waited on the ferry for about 20 minutes. Before then they put down the, um, I can't even think of what it's called, the gate of the ferry. And we all started jumping in. We're told we had to swim to a ship, a Navy ship, which was about two kilometers away. Swim to that ship, which you could hardly see turn around it, and then swim to shore. And uh, so I, I was a bit scared, obviously, um, of the cold, of the water, of the waves, so I kind of waited a little bit at the back. By the time I got in, everybody else had started. <laughs> so I had to catch up with them. Um, anyway, that was, it was an amazing, absolutely amazing swim, and I was very nervous, and Dan and Steph, you both know, I was, I was most nervous about that, actually, because orca swim in that fjord, so... Um, I was a little bit worried I was going to see some orcas and killer whales, which I didn't. I'd love to see them, obviously, but I didn't. Um, yeah, and then did a, did a good swim and then got on my bike. So I think it's something I'm just looking at now. So eight, nearly eight hours on my bike. Dear me. I mean, Louise, I know you, you said um, you, we spoke a lot about before you went. I know you were a bit worried about that swim in particular, but you have been a real inspiration to so many people who have been following your uh, trip there and your journey on social media as well. I mean, just watching the pictures of yeah. you, not only you've done this, you swim for like over an hour. How do you, I know you've yeah. done lots of training, but how do you then convince your legs to get you on a bike and then do the run after that? Mentally, it must be, it must be so, so tough to get yourself through something like that. It is, and, and the worst thing was, I knew, I knew, Dan, you know, I knew it was going to be really tough, but actually I kind of didn't know how tough it was because the bike the bike was beautiful and it was fantastic, but it was, it was really, really um, so much. And I think we climbed something like 2,500 metres um, in that bike. And you've just got to keep, I mean, I have silly things like just, just keep moving, just keep moving, keep pedalling, that's all I could do. And so I did that, and then, but the run... So I got off my bike, and I, obviously I've been a long time on the bike, really enjoyed some of it. it was incredible. I mean, the, the views of the glaciers and the beautiful Patagonian plains were just fantastic. So that keeps you going. And then your training keeps you going because, you know, I've done lots of bike rides and think, right, okay, this is a bit like a hill that I do in North Wales, except the hills just kept on coming. Um, and then I got on the run, and I thought, I thought it was going to be fine, and I didn't realise. I knew it was beside a glacial lake. I didn't realise it was in a mountain track by a glacial lake. For four, we were on the track for 42 kilometres, and my feet had bruised. 
And, and I think, you, what do you think about? I think about the end. I think about all the training that I've done. I think that uh, you know, every step is a step closer to the end. And the amazing thing about this race is you have someone, you can only do it if you have someone supporting you and helping you. And my husband was doing that. So every step, every pedal, I knew that I was getting closer to the moment that I'd see him again. And hopefully he'd have a cup of tea, which he did, or a sandwich. <laughs> um, so yeah, training and just sheer utter, just keep moving determination, I think. So, Lou, the thing I love about you is every time you've done one of these amazing uh, achievements in triathlon, I always think, right, you're going to have a break now, aren't you? But you never do. <laughs> what are you doing? Have you got plans for the next one already? Yeah, I bet you have. We, you've got to come back no, on the sofa at some stage. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I've got to mend all the bits that are a little bit broken. I've got to be able to walk properly because I can't, I can't, I'm just hobbling at the moment. Um, no, definitely, literally, normally, as you say, Steph, you're so right. I get over the finish line, I think, right, what's next? I got <laughs> off that, over that finish line, I thought, thank goodness for that. I'm going to, I promise I'm going to have a rest now, but I will be back at breakfast. Good. We have missed you, Lou, but we're dead proud of you. Thank you so oh, much for chatting to us. Thank Sorry thank for you. waking you up. Cheers. Oh, I'm going to don't worry. Thank well you so done, much. Louise. She's like Wonder Woman, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and for those of you who've been following her, uh, she's so proud to have finished that. She's been worried about it, particularly the swimming part of it. But she's been wanting to do that for years. So well done, Louise Minchin.